Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a plan with me in my favorite planner to plan in, my mini planner. I am so excited to have you on another plan with me. I feel like I feel like I just love planning my mini planner, so I'm so excited to see how it turns out. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. I hope you will consider subscribing. And if you are not new, then welcome back. I am so glad to have you back. You are a very important role in this journey with me. So before we get started, I do have a question. I recently bought these wonderful ins uh, pocket inserts. I've been looking for them everywhere from Joann's. It was the last one that I had, or that they had, I had. Um, and I wanna know what you use these for because I was gonna put maybe coupons or receipts or something like that in there. Um, maybe cash, cash was another one I was thinking because I feel like it's pretty secure. But I wanna know what you use these for and what your favorite thing to use them for is if you have one. So to start, I am going to pull out, um, what would be the date? I guess Monday the 19th, yeah. The 20th is my niece's birthday over there in Arizona. All right, so I need to figure out what I wanna do first, but then once I figure that out, I'm gonna lay some washi down to kinda, kinda cohesively make the theme what I want it to be. So it's still winter, it's not spring, it's not warm. Oh, actually, it's gonna be quite warm. It's gonna be quite warm during this period, but it's still not spring. But I feel like I wanna do the daydreamer planner. I don't know if I've done a daydreamer really. I did, I guess. All right, I feel like I'm gonna do the, the daydreamer and the glam girl, and I'm gonna kinda of keep it with a purplish theme. So I'm gonna start the week with some purple themes. So I brought some washies up. I have purple there. I have like purple mixed in here, but I don't think I'm gonna do that one. I have the black and white here. I don't know that I'll need washi, but I'm just gonna bring some up just in case. Yeah, that's good. It's good for now. I love to see the styles that people do for their with their washi. I feel like the mini is is the planner that I put the least amount of washi in, but I feel like it's not needed. I, I don't know. I guess I just feel like it's it's so easy to So my mini planner has taken many different directions as far as what type of planning I'm using it for. But my husband is starting a beard oil company. So I've, I've talked about home planner. I've talked about many different things that I want to use it for. My husband's starting a new company. And so in addition to my social media, I feel like I'm going to um, incorporate his social media into reminding us of what we need to do from day to day. Um, for social media and the mini planner. So I'm kind of deeming the mini planner, my social media planner a little bit. And then in addition to that, um, ah, I cut that off just like a little bit too short. Oh, that's gonna bother me. I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do with that. <sighs> I'm just gonna stick it there. Um, in addition to doing the social media planning for his planner, I am going to can obviously continue it for my planner, but then I'm gonna, um, I feel like I wanna put this washi on top, maybe. I am going to move, I was using it as my home planner for like a week, which worked out good, but I feel like I want my home planner and my main planner. And so I'm, I've got an idea for, for switching that. So this is going to, I'm gonna omit my home planning from this little mini planner and I'm gonna move it into my main planner within the next, within this week. So look out for that video cause I'm looking for any tips and help that I can do to get that cohesively done um, well. And I have a really great idea for what I wanna do, but I want it to flow well, I want it to be good and I wanna be able to follow it a little bit better because that is really important to me. Having a clean house is very, very important to me. And I love it when it's clean and I hate it when it's messy. So that's kind of kind of the way I'm looking at life here. 
All right, so I feel like I want to start the week with a very happy, purpley, like, happy life theme. This is from the Trendsetter. This washi is from the Trendsetter. And I feel like um, I really like the thinner washies uh, over the thicker. Now, I think there's a purpose for, for all of them, but I prefer thin to thick. And the reason being is I just feel like it's easier to play with and it's easier to make look like it's suited for a specific area, even if you are cutting a little bit of the, the lining off. Um, and I like to, when I use washi, I know there's many different ways to use washi, so I don't know that I do it right all the time, but I like to line the edges with it, the edges of the week. And, or the days, I mean, excuse me. And so I use, I probably tend to use a lot in comparison to what some people use it for, but, um, boop. Oh, that one fit good. But because of that, I like to make sure that I um, have thinner washi because if it's too thick, it just takes in and kind of infiltrates the, the rest of the planning, plan with me section. Mondays I do post to social media so I need to leave some room to, to fit that in. Um, I guess you should be able to see what I'm doing. That was out of my previous video. I need to put that in my planner still but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh I love coffee and flowers. I probably have seen that like four million times and every time I see it I'm like oh my gosh I love it but I do. This gray kind of complements the purple that I'm going with because I'm doing gray. So I like to lay these little to-dos down. I feel like they're so easy with this uh, particular type of, which actually I have the Daydreamer, or I'm sorry, I have, I have that one too, but I have the Glam Girl and so that one for my main planner, so that one is lined. But I feel like with the many with these little to-do, because the pages are lined, it is so easy to um, slap one of these on there because it's, it's like very easy to write because they're already lined and ready to go. So it's really easy to, to do that. I'm gonna throw a coffee cup down because it won't be a week unless I have a coffee cup in it. And everyone knows that. Gotta have some coffee cups in there. I feel like that's kind of dark though. I should have put it somewhere that's showcasing. Does anyone like get excited for Friday before Monday even starts? I'm like, yeah, only five days till Friday when I end Sunday night. I'm like so excited for it already. Not that it really makes a difference because, you know, in real estate, you kind of work all the time, but it, it just feels different because, I don't know, I shouldn't have done that one. It just feels different because I feel like it, it just feels different. I don't know, really even. And look, oh, I guess that is right though. It's his weekend adventure on a Friday. I kind of messed that up. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize that it said weekend adventure, but it does. I did put it on a Friday. It's a good thing I didn't put it on a Monday. So that kind of starts the Friday. So that works. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Now, I am going to go ahead and put the trash day section on here because it is something that I've really wanted to make effort. So even though this is not my home planning planner any longer, I am going to incorporate some of that into there. I also need to remember that there is some stickers that kind of go over what I want because I might incorporate some things like that on there. All right, get your happy on. Get your happy on. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like I want this in the note section because I really want to remember to get my happy on. Okay, Thursday. And then I'm gonna use one of these little cute little blocks. Oh, that doesn't even fit there. So how do people use these? Do they like stack them? I don't know that I'm doing this right. I feel like I'm gonna cut this in half. I think that's like so cute. I'm 
gonna cut this in half and kind of place it here. And then I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna kind of do that one of those numbers. And then down here, I'll do this one and then do one of those numbers. So kind of to make it look matchy match, but still different, you know, kind of flip, switch it up. All right, then, okay, that is definitely big enough. So although that pink isn't too terribly bad for that, I, um, I definitely want to. I feel like I still want a to-do list on this day. And when I say, um, and when I say that this is my social media planner, it's pretty much anything that I need to do on the computer. So it's not just social media per se, it's just things that I need to like actually get going. But because he's starting his company, it's about to launch, there's a lot extra to do this next coming week. And he is not very organized, so I have to help him out there. So it's launching in, in just a few weeks, so I'm very excited about that. Um, it's beard oil, ladies, so if you have a husband who has a beard, you know where to well ladies and gentlemen I suppose that there could be some men who watch this type of stuff we won't exclude them but if you do watch this type of stuff and you have a beard then you know where to you know where to find me all right so that's that is it I think that's pretty much going to um, fill the majority of my week this week for my mini planner as I mentioned before this is my favorite planner to plan and I never I never get bored of well I really don't get bored of planning any planners but I really never get bored of planning my mini planner because I feel like it always just looks so cute and it's just very easy to use and the functionality of it is is super great so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it back in my week this is the last week of um, the February month before the month of March starts. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to enter into that month and I'm gonna fill this out as I go. Um, lots to get done, lots to get done throughout this week, but look how cute it turned out. It just looks so good. I'm just so excited about it. So that one is done, but as I mentioned and not to hold any other delays into the, the exciting stuff, we are announcing the winner of the giveaway for the Trendsetter Trio. And we, um, when I say we, I mean me and my husband, we put everyone into one of those jumbler things. I don't even know how it really works, to be honest with you. I had him help me input it because he's really good with that. And the winner of the three trio with a little special surprise that's going to be coming is Pam Dillard. So I am so excited Pam. Please email me with your contact information or your mainly your shipping address of where you want this ship to and um, I will get it in the mail very soon. So email Megan'sPlans at gmail.com just like the YouTube name, Megan's Plans at gmail.com, and I will get this shipped out to you as soon as possible. So in the meantime, I want to do one of these at least once a month. For, so for those of you who did not win, I would love to hear some suggestions on what what you would like to see given away. Do you like the sticky notes? Do you like the dashboard? Do you like the planner itself? Do you like the trio? Would you like to see some sticky, uh, some of the sticker books? Uh, would you like the mini? Do you like the classic? Do you like the big? Just some suggestions on what is your ideal giveaway idea. And then I am going to 
look at all those suggestions and for my next giveaway I'm gonna use those suggestions to purchase it and get it out and going so for those of you who have not won please 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 give me your input and I will be doing another one very 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 soon and hopefully it will be per what you really love so once I get some ideas for that so really excited about it Pam give me your contact information and of course as always if you are new to my channel please subscribe you don't want to miss anything and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video have a blessed day